everyone, this is Melissa with thestockswish.com and welcome. Welcome to a SPY review of the market. Thought I would do this today. It's Monday morning. Just getting ready to get going here this morning. Um, market did not make it over the high on Friday and I actually thought that we would, but we definitely are going to get over this area. I thought that we might gap over it today. Uh, actually, after we did this topping tail, I thought to myself, we're going to have to gap over the area now to make it. Although then we showed so much strength the next day after this, which was the Thursday after the, the FOMC minutes came out. I thought we might get over here Friday. Now, we didn't. But we are definitely, without a shadow of a doubt, 100% conviction, going to get over this area and make new highs. So when is the question? We, in an ideal world, we actually gap over it. And we actually could still do that today, although low odds here because it's a Monday. So we could rest today, not really go anywhere, have a tight trading range today, and then gap over this area tomorrow. Otherwise, there's a possibility we could come in again for a small, little, tiny pull-in somewhere around in here, 182, 180, 160, before we trade above the highs or gap above the highs. But I think it's more likely we're going to get over it sooner rather than later now because the strength in the market is almost overwhelming. I mean, it's actually shocking because we are just showing so much strength. Every red is being wiped out almost immediately. And the market really could have pulled in here after this day. This was Wednesday. The market could have pulled in here immediately after that down to some prior support level, but we didn't do it. Held right away is very bullishly. It actually gapped up here this day. So the market is strong. It's showing its hand. It's showing its strength. It's not going to do anything here but continue higher. And I had a conversation with someone, uh, I think it was Saturday. He thinks the market's going to crash this year. That is not my call for this market. My call for this market as of this point, looking at everything, the way the whole market's setting up for 2014 is that we stay in this strong trend, continue it and continue to make higher highs and new highs the rest of the year. Every bad news is being shrugged off. We are not extended. We have nice pull-ins. Um, and we're just showing so much strength. Every time we get a chance, we pick ourselves up off our feet and rally. This is a very, very aggressive reversal of this pulling that happened that took a little bit to come down and then immediately was uh, wiped out, basically. So if the market does change course of action this year, I will see it in the live moment in a gap. That's the beautiful thing about being a day trader, which is what I am, and also reading gaps, because every morning when I get up, I read the mar market gap. Now, I'm not trading the market every day. I'm trading stocks, individual stocks, individual companies every day. But I do read the market gaps and the ETFs every day, even though I don't trade those. Uh, actually, sometimes I do, but it's very rare. But I do trade stocks and companies, and I like to look at the market just to see what the market's doing. It also helps me get a good eye for overall for everything, and I want to see if the market is trending or power trending too in the day. However, that being said, uh, I would see if the market wanted to change direction. And nothing so far that the market has done has given any inkling that it's going to change direction this year or any time soon. I would see it if it happened. If the market ever happens to change directional bias, I will see it in a live moment. I'll see at the exact moment it happens on a gap when I get up one morning. But as of right now, that's not setting up at all. And as of right now, the continuation and the follow through of the bullish trend in the market is set. It's set in stone. And I believe that the next gap up, if we actually do gap, if we, if we actually gap over this high, it will be an entry to go long that I believe could hold for the remainder of the calendar year. Now, I don't know if we're going to gap over the high. I don't, or we'll just trade over it. If we gap over 185 cleanly, prettily, beautifully, I believe that gap will hold for the whole calendar year. It'll be actually an entry to go core long in the market. Similar to this gap here, back from October that's holding, and similar to the gap back from January 2013. Find him. Because if you went long this first trading day of 2013 in the market on January 7th, you were long the whole year. Now, it's, it's not January, but it doesn't matter. It's still very, very, very early in the year for the market to be setting up like this. So if the market gaps over 185, I think it could be a, a gap that actually holds for the whole year. We'll have to see. We'll have to see if it sets up that way. 
It's not the same if it trades over it, although either way we're getting over 185. It's like 100% conviction. Timing of this, I'm not sure. We'll have to see how we trade today. Actually, today and tomorrow are kind of significant days in the market because if we rest up here, we're going to get over it really quick. If we come in, we're going to pull in. So we'll have to see how we act today and tomorrow. And this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. Have a wonderful trading week, everybody. This is a SPY review. It's bullish as of now. We will make it over 185. We'll have to see how we trade today to figure that out. Best case scenario for a strong push would be in setting up in a bullish gap over 185. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. If you'd like more information on how to read charts, how to trade the stock market, and how to read gaps, I teach a class called the Golden Gap Course. The next class is March 8th and 9th. And if you'd like more information, you can email me at melissa at the StockSwish.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a great trading day.